For this sound, I'm going to be creating a few different Brahms and Bends. If you need a more in-depth tutorial on these sounds, then you can watch my tutorial on Brahms and Bends. But for this tutorial, they don't need to be too interesting and too special on their own because I'm just going to be layering them with each other. So let's just start with the default preset in Whitel, and I'm just going to create the first sound. So let's just activate Oscillator 2 here, give Oscillator 1 a bit of unison, reduce the detune, and maybe use a sine wave as a sub layer. Send everything through this filter and cut the highs. And then just head over here and use a distortion and use some reverb on this. Cut the highs here and increase time and size. Maybe cut a bit more of the highs. And use a compressor maybe after the distortion and decrease the highs here. So that's okay. I'm just gonna duplicate this and mute this one and just make changes to this patch now. So maybe give this one a bend. So I'm just gonna use LFO1 for this. Um, so send LFO1 to the global voice transpose. Maybe set this to somewhere between one and three semitones. So give this a downward shape and set it to envelope mode. Give it one bar length. And maybe change the pitch of these. So that's okay. Just duplicate this one. Again, deactivate the other one. Just make slight changes to this one. Uh, maybe you just give this one an upwards bend. So we're just going to change the shape here. And maybe change again the pitch of the oscillators here. So that's fine for this. Now what I would do, I would just group these together and to glue them together, I would just use a utility plugin and automate the gain on this. Maybe somewhere here is gonna be our peak and then we can just create a shape similar to the shape of a whoosh. Maybe give it a bit more time to rise and make it a bit longer here so the reverb can decrease. I'll just activate all instances. And let's just EQ them a bit. So this one has a lot of low end information. Maybe just cut the very low end and a bit of the mids. This one needs some adjustment in the low end because it's a bit rumbly. So just cut the very lows on this. Decrease this area in this case. Maybe also take away a bit of the mids for this. And for our last one. So this is the highest one, so we are just gonna cut the lows and maybe boost the highs a bit. So now all together they sound like this. Let's use a compressor in front of our utility plugin. And now what we can do, we can just resample this entire thing. You can just consolidate this in Ableton. Depending on what kind of DAW you're using, you might need to export this. But we can now just take one of these instances of Whitel, actually mute this entire group because we don't need it anymore. And deactivate this and just set this to default preset. And now in Ableton, you can just take the audio that you recorded and import it into the sampler down here. So now you can just play the sample that we just made. And now you can start using all the vital effects and LFOs on the sound and create something completely new. I could sort of reinforce the whoosh movement. So let's just use LFO1 and use this one for all the main modulations that we're gonna have on this sound and just put it on a level. Again, if you wanna create something like a whoosh, then you would probably use a shape similar to this. So let's just play around with that one. Set this to envelope mode and also the tempo maybe to two, two bars because uh, we need to account for the reverb tail here. And then just play around with the shape of this. Now we can also use this LFO for pitch modulation. So we are just gonna put it on the pitch of the sample. And maybe start with roughly one octave and see how this sounds. Maybe around six semitones is fine for now. Now you could also start layering this with um, the oscillators in here. So I'm just gonna use 
oscillator one and use a sine wave to create a sort of a sub layer for this. So again, use a level one on the level of this one as well, and also on the pitch. So we can essentially create a short sub drop as a layer for this sample. Deactivate it for now and just pitch this one down. Maybe around two octaves. Three octaves is fine, I think, for this. Maybe don't have it all the way up volume wise. We can give it a stuttery effect, so let's just use LFO2 and put this on the level of the sample here as well. And now we can use LFO1 to modulate the frequency of LFO2. So let's just set this one to seconds and then just send LFO1 to the frequency of LFO2 and just start with maybe a setting around this. And then we can also play around with the speed here. And now by changing the shape of this envelope, we can actually change the entire movement of the sound. We can make use of the effects in Vital. So we can also just use the compressor here and the distortion maybe. Maybe just use it in single band mode. You can also EQ it a bit. Just boosting the highs a bit and reducing the lows and low mids. You can also put some reverb on this. And you can of course also use the filters in Vital and create more movement with this or change the sound completely by using maybe a comb filter on this. If you create a sub layer, maybe you don't want this one to go through all the effects and all the filters, so we can just send this to the direct out. And then just send the sample through filter one. And maybe use the band spread comb filter here. And we can also again use our LFOs here to modulate this filter. Maybe also just mix it in. If you actually want the pitch of the sample to change depending on what key, what note you play, you can just activate this here and then just see what happens if you play it at a higher note. So actually at a higher speed or at a lower speed, so like this. So you can easily create a lot of variations of one sound and you can create completely new sounds that you probably wouldn't have been able to create with just using a sampler or just using a synthesizer. And it's just a pretty nice combination of uh, using a synthesizer both as a sampler, also just mixing the sample up with um, different oscillators and using all the effects and LFOs that you have inside Vital.